This is Bob Anderson from Factory Direct Modulars. Um, I really, <laughs> I really don't have time to put this video together, but I'm gonna put it together anyways because uh, a sequence of events happened this past week, and I said to myself, Bob, you don't. I, I literally said to the lender on the phone, I have to do a video on this one, even though I don't have time. This is a sign from God or something. So he goes. Okay, well, send me a copy of it when you get it done. So here it is. Um, let me fast forward backwards for just a second. Um, about, about Monday or so, I got an appraisal. I got a phone call from a lender saying, hey, uh, one of your projects uh, didn't appraise. And I scratched my head and I'm going, it didn't, didn't appraise. Uh, well, that doesn't make any sense. Can, can you send me a copy of the appraisal? So the lender said, yeah, sure. So they emailed me a copy of the appraisal. And I open it up and I look at it. And I'm like, that's not my house. I'm not building that house. So I called the lender back immediately. I said, wait a second. This, is the wrong, this isn't the house I'm building. It's the right property. It's the right customer. But that's not the house I'm building. They go, well, what's wrong with it? I said, well, it, first of all, it's a manufactured home. Second of all, it's 2,000 and some odd square feet. Um, my house is 1,600 square feet, and it's an off-frame modular. So, so they go and they look and they research and realize that through, through somewhere in the appraisal ordering process, somebody grabbed the wrong file with the same customer last name and sent it to the appraiser. And so the appraiser attached that property to a house that somebody else for the same last name is, uh, is building, which is a manufactured home. So let's move forward to, for, to Friday. So Friday comes along, which was yesterday from where I'm doing this video, and the, the lender calls back and says, okay, we got the appraisal corrected. Um, we're all good. When, when do you want to close? <clears throat> and I'm like, so we're good, right? They said, yeah. I said, do you mind if you send me a copy of that appraisal too? Because I'd, like I'd like to see the difference. So they said, sure. So they sent me a copy of the appraisal. Now is my opportunity to decipher for you what I discovered that I've told you guys before in other videos, but now I'm going to show it to you again in real numbers. Okay? This is... Um, this is a property in western North Carolina, uh, in a in a uh, in an area where values are uh, are really taken off. Um, uh, build costs are way through the roof. Yada yada yada. Well, like pretty much everywhere in uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, right now. But anyways, um, so I'm going to break it down for you right here. A manufactured home versus a modular based off of two certified appraisals for the exact same property. So it's not like, oh, well, I had a house that's 15 miles away and I'm comparing it to a house, you know, another 15 miles away. Well, 15 miles is can be totally different values just by location itself. So this is the exact same two and a half acre piece of property uh, with two different houses appraised on it. So. Let's go look at the manufactured home. The one that they mistakenly appraised was a 2,067 square foot new construction. This isn't existing. This is going to be new construction manufactured home with three bedrooms, two baths. The appraiser appraised it on that two and a half acres of property for $194,000. Okay? The land is worth $55,000, which is correct. That's what the customer actually just paid for it. And then the uh, so the the actual cost for the home itself per the appraiser the value is one hundred thirty nine thousand dollars for just the home piece. So if you take that one hundred thirty nine thousand dollars divided in divided by the two thousand and sixty seven square feet of the home, then the appraiser is saying that the manufactured homes are worth sixty seven bucks a square foot. This is him, not me. I think it's a him. I don't even know if it's him or her. I just know the appraiser. The appraiser did this. Okay? So, let's go over to the mod. So then I get the mod appraisal on Friday. Alright? 
let's let's break it down from the exact same appraiser again exact same two and a half acres i'm not making any of these i'm not using my opinion i'm using theirs so he broke down my house at being 1566 square feet uh the factory says it's a little bigger than that but i don't really care uh, so and he gave it a value of two hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars on that exact same two and a half acres back out the fifty five thousand dollars that he says the land was worth because that's what the guy paid for it actually then he's saying the build cost of that modular is 223 which is 142 dollars a square foot which by the way in this area um stick built houses are going for over two our, our build costs are over 200 bucks a square foot um so anyways so 142 okay which by the way this customer is buying his house from me because he was going to do a site built and he couldn't he was just like the numbers didn't make sense so anyways let's go back now let's now let's see so we got 67 dollars to 142 dollars so what i want to do now is i want to say okay fine if this is what the values are <clears throat> per the appraiser using recent sales of used homes for the value of our our home that we're going to build why don't we break down what the cost is to buy these homes right now so you can get an idea where you're even getting maybe a better deal or whatever forget the fact that we've talked about depreciation of a of manufactured homes over time forget forget that conversation let's just let's just go right off of what's going on right now so what I did is I grabbed the local Clayton dealer that is down the road from this property and I said I did it I did an internet search on their website and they pulled up nine homes that are in the same size range as my home that I'm building okay they had nine of those nine they only <laughs> they only listed prices of six so good luck on knowing what the other three are you had to call for those numbers yeah call anyways so the six they gave gave an average price of the home itself the home itself uh they ranged from starting in the 120s to starting in the 130s and the average was about 122. Now again, those are the starting prices and I'm using the most conservative numbers when I tell you this, because I use, if it said starting in the 120s, I used 120 as my number. When the reality of it is, that means it could be 129.9 and hey, they didn't lie to you. But anyways, um, so I used 120. So I used an average of one of the 120, for the ones that said 120, I used 120. For the ones that said 130, I used 130. I blended them all together came out with 122 on top of that I conservatively used $31,500 I broke it all out delivery costs set costs trim costs heating and air plumbing and electrical steps and decks foundation 31.5 to come up with a cost from Clayton to build that house same square footage roughly as what I'm building of $153,500 that's if you walked on that and and it, and they gave you the house at the starting price without any upgrades your build cost would be 153.5 now by the way i have customers that tell me that he, <laughs> these build costs that i use of 31.5 are not the ones that they use by the way because that's another profit center if they tell you if they tell you if they tell you what certain things cost you have no idea in some cases if they're lying or not you don't have any idea that they're, that's just playing on the consumer but anyways so let's take that $68 I push that number up take that $68 a square foot 1600 square foot average that means the appraiser thinks it's worth $109,000 to build that house but they're selling it to you for $153,500 which is a $44,500 upside down the day you move in cool so let's go over to my example my night my my um not my cheapest by the way my upgraded cypress point three house is 1610 square foot that is my hottest selling house that's in that 1600 square foot range and the reason it's my hottest selling house 
is because it comes with stainless steel appliances, comes with colored cabinets, shaker style, flat panels. It comes with cultured marble sinks. It comes with smooth flat ceilings. It comes with a 12 inch eaves. I mean, it looks like a house. Go look at the video on my website of the Cypress Point 3 and tell me that doesn't look like a house. Anyways, so you take that Cypress Point 3, 1,610 square feet. You use his $142 a square foot, you come up with a build value of 227. 227 cost 149 for that house plus value of a hunt of seventy eight thousand dollars seventy eight thousand dollars the variance between the two from the day you move into your 1600 square foot either modular or manufactured home if you're buying the house from us in that area is a hundred and twenty two thousand five hundred dollars and that doesn't even take into account the fact that after you move into this, it starts depreciating. When you move into this, you're paying a higher interest rate. You're paying higher um, insurance costs. You know, you're paying higher maintenance costs. You're paying higher heating and air costs. You know, all the things that we've talked about in other videos. So, I bring this up because I have a real life example. And I swear I got a signal from God to do this today. Here it is. So, if it's useful for you, great. I have people that do reply to me and say, that's not what happened to me. Keep in mind, everybody's examples in life are different. I get that. This is a conglomerate of examples, and this is my 25 years experience showing you what I see on a daily basis. Um, anyways, if you, uh, if you like, I can do some videos on some of the games they play to get this stuff to work. Because you might sit there and say to yourself, well, how do they sell you this house if it's worth 150, if they're selling it for 153, but it's only worth 109? Ah, those are some other tricks. Yeah, yeah, those are some other tricks. Anyways, everybody have a good, uh, everybody have a good day. Um, and uh, just know that uh, we're here busy and um, I'm trying to keep up right now. COVID, you know, whatever. So have a good day, and uh, again, if I come across something as interesting as this, I'll let you know. Thank you. Bye.